assistant professor from department of electronics from walton institute of technology solapur so today we are going to have a session on database languages and the interferences at the end of this session student will be able to distinguish between the logical data independence physical data independence and database languages and interferences the concept of data independence which can be defined as a capacity to change the schema at one level of database system without having a change the schema at the next level they are divided into two types logical data independence and physical data independence let's go one by one logical data independence it is a capacity to change the conceptual schema without having to change the external schemas or the application programs we may change the conceptual schema to expand the database like by adding records or the data items to change the constraints or to reduce the database by removing a data record or the data item external schemas that only refer to the remaining data should not be affected for example the external schema should not be affected by changing the grade report file only the view definition and the mapping needed to be changed in the database and that supports the logical data independence after the conceptual schema undergoes a logical reorganization application programs that refer the external schema constructs must work as before changes to the constraints can be implemented to the conceptual schema without affecting the external schemas or the application programs next is the physical data independence it is the capacity to change the internal schema without having to change the conceptual schema hence the external schemas need not to be changed as well changes to the internal schema can be needed because some physical files were reorganized for example by creating additional access structures improving the performance of the retrieval or the update data independence is nothing but when you are going to change the logical schema the physical schema should not get affected okay so physical schema is what how the data files are stored in physically or the file structures or the path access path you can say so whenever you are going to change the access path to the file in the logical schema then the physical schema should not get affected okay so physical schema is nothing but about the files about the uh, data constraints about the uh, catalogs and everything metadata so whenever you are going to change the physical schema the external view okay so external view for the user should not get affected so it says that whenever you are going to make changes in one schema it should not get affected in the other schema if the same data as before remains in the database we should not to have the change in the conceptual schema for example providing access path to improve the retrieval and speed of section records by semester and year should not require any query such as list of all the sections offered in the fall 2008 to change although the query should be executed more efficiently by the dbms by utilizing the new access path so we need to change the access path to increase the retrieval speed so whenever you are changing the access path which you are changing the physical schema then it should not change the uh, with the logical schema database must provide appropriate languages and interfaces for each category of users dbms languages once the design of the dbms is completed and dbms is chosen to implement the database the first step is to specify conceptual and in internal schemas for the database and mapping between them in many dbms where no strict separation of levels is maintained one language called the data definition language which is ddl is used by dba dba is nothing but the database administrator and by data designers to define both the schemas so database definition language ddl language is used by the database administrators the dbms will have only ddl compiler whose function is to process ddl statements in order to identify descriptions of the schema constructs and to store the schema descriptions in the dbms catalog so dbma users they are going to use the data definition language and they are going to have the ddl statements which is given to the compilers and then it is given to the database catalogs where the information stored in the catalog 
in dbms where a clear separation is maintained between the conceptual and internal schemas the ddl is used to specify the conceptual schemas only so ddl is concerned with the conceptual schema only another language the storage definition language which is the sdl is used to specify the internal schema the, the mapping between the two schemas can be specified in either of the languages using the sdl language or using the ddl language the internal schema is specified by combination of functions parameters specifications related to storage this permit the dbma staff to control indexing and mapping of the data to storage the view definition language vdl to specify user views and mapping to the conceptual schema the only database schemas are compiled and database is populated with the data users must have some of these to manipulate the data typical manipulations include retrieval insertion deletion and modification of the data dbms provide a set of programs of the languages called data manipulation language dml for this purposes so let's go with the database interfaces one by one menu based interfaces for the web clients or the browsing the, these interfaces provide the user with a list of options called menus that let the users through the formulation of the request menus do away with the need of memorization of the specific commands and syntaxes for the query language rather than queries composed of step by step picking up the options from the menus and displaying on the screen if you have gone through the atm machine there is a menu based interface for you so you have to click on the uh, withdrawal or you have to click for the uh, saving account or the other account you can see or you have to click for the pin and then enter then withdrawal deposit whatever it is so there is an atm machine has given you the menu based interferences so this will minimize you with the memorization of the specific commands so menu based are easiest one for the web browsing or the web clients you can say just clicking on the menus you have to select the commands or the queries pull down menus are very popular techniques in the web based or the user interferences they are also often used in the browsing interfaces which allow the user to look through the contents of the database in the exploratory and the unstructured manner next is the form based menus so if ever if you have filled the google form so similarly your dbms provides you the form based interferences so that you have to just fill up the forms of the new data whichever data you want to insert and then you can just retrieve the data with the remaining entries forms are usually designed and program for the nav users or the interfaces to the can transactions many dbms have form specific languages which are special languages that help the programmer specify such forms so form yes you will provide you the form so that you can fill up the form and you can have the entries the new data to be inserted sql forms is a form based language that specifies the queries and even you have an oracle forms next is a graphic user interface a gui typically displays a schema to the user in a diagrammatic form the user then can specify a query by manipulating the diagram in many cases graphical user interfaces utilize both menus and forms so graphical user interfaces provide you the combination of menus as well as forms most of the graphical user interfaces uses a pointing device such as mouse to select certain type of display schemas next is a natural language which is nothing but the english language or the other language attempts to understand so it also provides you the uh, simple language natural language feature to interface with the database if the interpretation is successful interpre uh, interface generates an high level query language uh, to the natural language so similarly in c program the english language which is your c language is converted into machine language which is understandable by computer so this similarly our english language is converted into high level query language and then executed by the dbms software next is the speech input output so uh, limited use of speech as an input query and speech as an output query can also be used for the interfacing with the dbms applications with a limited vocabulary such as inquiries for the telephone dictionary flight arrival credit all these use the speech input output for interfacing with the dbms the speech input is detected using the library of predefined words that can be set up to parameters that can be the speech input is detected using the library of predefined words and used to set up the parameters that are supplied to the queries so these are the references 
of the database systems by Ramesh and the Shamkan B. Naute. Thank you.